Welcome back to my little channel. Now, I'm going to talk about a video I found and I got it over Twitter and it has a Breitbart logo in it, so I assume it's from Breitbart. I have no idea. I'm not even sure if it's real or if the dude is a troll. Now, if he's a troll, he's a good troll. And if it is real, then it shows how depraved certain people have become. But I decided I'm going to make a response video to it based on what is being said, not on whether it's real or a troll, because in all fairness, if I'm wrong and he is just trolling and, and, and pulling people's legs, then the points I'm making are still valid. And if he is indeed a deprived individual, then he definitely needs to hear these points and I know my, my social reach is very small, but who knows, he might actually get to see it. Here's the video. I'm going to cut and paste in it. Let's see how it goes. Then let me ask you up front, if you've been through this one, let me know what you think. I mean, criticism as always is more than welcome, but I am really interested in, in how you guys see this playing out whether you agree with me whether you agree with him and more to the point if this is actually real you can't talk about black issues and lgbt issues and exclude them as if they're some individual issue you need to be looking at this using intersectionality which is a, a word that you know is, is thrown around but what does it really mean and right off the bat all of the standard talking points have been met i mean you can't talk about this that or the other i'm wondering who tells you you can't but uh, let's be honest we hardly hear anything else coming from the left lately but you can't talk about it apparently and when when he said these things especially when he ended up with intersectionality when he said these things i always uh, gravitate to the following thought if you can't dazzle them with brilliance, baffle them with bullshit. Now I'm trying out all these words. Hear my words. My words have meaning. I will tell you what the meaning of my words are. Believe me. I understand that there are people who think that this is a valid way of bringing a message. I worry about the fact that there are people out there who believe that this is a valid way of bringing out a message. Anyway, so what is intersectionality? I made a video about it a very long time ago, and I basically described it as having your cake and eating it too. Now, obviously, that's not really a good definition, but it's a definition that I like to use. Um, it's basically saying, well, y you can't measure each other's victim points because individuals have different victim points but at the same time it's an excuse to say well but i have it worse than you and you don't know why i have it worse to you because you don't have my lived experience it's um an aggressive way of being a victim that's what intersectionality really is anyway let's continue it means recognizing that there is one common enemy the white man and yes, the one thing you can be sure of when it comes to these types of people, even when they're not trolling, is that whatever they do, they will double down. So we're not allowed to talk about something. Intersectionality is real and we can blame the white man, says the white man. If I could find a better example of double standards I'm uh, I'm not going to though am I there is no better example of it you have to believe what I say we're not allowed to talk about the things I'm talking about with you now and basically I'm part of the group who's all to blame but I'm not part of that group obviously because I talk about it and people actually believe this nonsense can you imagine how oikophobic he 
and the people in his direct social circle must be to actually think that that spouting out this is acceptable it's reasonable anyway i'm taking up too much time let's let's continue and uh, and the systems that they use are capitalism patriarchy and fascism again word salad capitalism an economic system fascism opposing that economic system in their political system because fascism is more in a socialistic way they're more for planned intervention and patriarchy the brainchild of feminism basically feminism's version of the devil so we've got an economic system a political system and a fantasy system and they are the problems we're having capitalism and fascism don't mix patriarchy doesn't exist seriously this is what we go with they were created and perpetuated by white men for white men in the interests of white men yeah obviously because there are no such things as black capitalists black fascists or black patriarchs no wait a second that's not right and once we realize that we're all fighting the same fight it just strengthens the army a problem shared is a problem halved imagine if we all realized and came together and grouped together now obviously fighting these issues and addressing them all requires different methods now i know i'm nasty like that but fighting what issues fighting capitalism why is capitalism a problem you didn't say fighting fascism why is fascism a problem you didn't say fighting patriarchy why is patriarchy a problem you didn't say now i'm not saying these things can't be a problem but before we start addressing a problem shouldn't we make clear what the problem is and why but not in the world of fantasy i assume the way that you approach and change racism is going to be different than how you look at homophobia uh, and we understand that now maybe i'm an idiot but i don't understand that shouldn't equality be equality despite ethnicity or sexual orientation so why should combating it be different uh, shouldn't the same rules apply to everyone but you can't just be out fighting for your own issues so i'm just going to give you a few a few things that are happening outside of the country that i really really suggest you all go and look at and educate yourself on if you're not already find the petition sign them yeah so let's make every problem splintered up in smaller problems that are all very important and then we split every individual problem of that in lots of smaller problems and they're all very important and in the end we overwhelm each other with the idea that there are so much problems that we will not address any single one but we can still blame the white man for it so that's good hmm we need to address the situation in yemen the um 20 million people mostly children are living in extreme poverty and hunger and malnutrition which has only been worsened by the coronavirus now i can understand him talking about yemen uh, the stuff there is pretty dreadful don't get me wrong i mean yemen is being attacked by the very wealthy saudi army thing is though saudi arabia doesn't have a lot of white men in power or at least not according to common doctrine and i agree again that the coronavirus may exacerbate things in yemen but also the coronavirus not a particular white instance i mean let's be honest it came from china i know i can't call it the kung flu anymore but i still do anyway let's go on shall we Palestine recently I think it was like three days ago every map whether it's iPhone Android Google have removed Palestine from the maps okay so for all of you fearful worrying people out there don't worry Palestine is still on the map it's part of Israel it is however not an individual country because it has never been an individual country never mind that reality and all that so palestine is still there okay palestine is not gone as much as israel wants to take over everything as much as america is funding them and that's his issue on its own yeah palestine is still there still part of israel 
as it has been for the last, how long is it real estate now? Uh, we need to address the fact that, you know, all of these groups of people, the issues they face, it all comes from the same people, white men. So we need to get rid of them. And here you have the problem with the reality impaired, ideologically driven idiots. Because let's be honest, Yemen is being attacked by Saudi Arabia and the Jews in Israel are removing Palestine. And it's white man doing it. So no matter who does it, in the end we'll blame white men. Now most Jews look white, I agree that. Not all of them though, because Judaism is not based on an ethnicity but on a religion. You have black Jews, you know. And uh, Saudi Arabia are Arabs and there are people who will say Arabs are white people too but most Arabs won't so how are white men to blame in this and and are these people that now claim they are not white men still white men are you saying that Muslims and Jews are bad because they are white or did you not think it true um. <laughs> I mean, how we do that? Eat them, <laughs> kill the rich. Oh, seriously, though. So, how do we deal with the problem? Well, uh, eat the rich. Or rather, he said, eat them first and then kill the rich. But the meme and the song title and the song is, eat the rich. It won't change anything, by the way. Um, because it's not the rich that are doing it. I mean, there are rich people doing it, but not all, hashtag not all, obviously. And it's definitely not all white men. Now, don't get me wrong, there are plenty of issues in the world that need to be addressed, and the best way to address these things is on a basis of equality. But you can't have equality and victimhood status, and therein lies the problem. So... We need victimhood status, because if we don't have victimhood status, how can we show the world that we are special and we need more attention? And uh, it's, it's basically small children crying for more. But there is no more. Yeah, but, but we want it. Yeah, but there is none. But we need it. There isn't any. Well, then it's your fault. And now all of a sudden the white men are to blame for everything wrong in the world because Yemen is being attacked by Saudi Arabia. Palestinians are being attacked by Israel. It's a war between two countries, neither of which is white. And it's an internal war, neither of which parties are white. But white people are to blame. Can we stop with this nonsense, please? I mean, white people are at best... Uh, let's say about 10% of the world. But all of the problems are because of the white people. Brought to you by a white guy who desperately wants to get laid, that's for sure. Not sure if he wants to get laid by a boy or a girl. I mean, let's be honest, options, options. But, um, yeah. I'm not going to go into character assassination. No, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to attack the idiocy of a kid. That's not fair of me. I shouldn't. I made my points. I addressed the issues. And I am more than interested to hear what you think about it. Criticism, as always, is more than welcome. Like, share, and subscribe if you feel so inclined. And uh, I hope to see you all next time.